Okay, I went to bed. It's a new day. I'm hoping that today's programming goes a little bit better than yesterday's. Sorry about those videos. They weren't as perfect as I'd like them to be, but I still feel that they're pretty good. Control Shift B. Let's build. See where we're at. I want to get this controller component working now that we have the input stuff working. Let's see if we can get the controller component to control the ship and turn it and accelerate and all that, but I want to see if we build first. Looks like we have warning treated as error, non-standard extension used. So C++ enums are stupid. Okay, and it's kind of weird that I get this warning here, but enums don't introduce a new level of scope. Remember, this is my enum name here. I'll hit F12 on this. You see enum, my menu choice. And here's all my menu choices. And so the C++ compiler is complaining, saying, hey, uh, Max is visible. All right, this, it's like these curlies don't even exist. Uh, as far as the compiler is concerned, the curlies don't exist, and these are just defined constants. All right now, C++ 1.1 solved that problem, and I notice Visual Studio 2012, its compiler, uh, supports supports us typing the class keyword here, which kind of treats this a little bit more like a class, or puts these as constants inside of a class, if you want to think of the enum as a class. And then all of a sudden, yes, you do have scope. But the Visual Studio 2010 compiler does not support that. So I'll take that off. And one of the things we should do in the middle of this refactor is upgrade to Visual Studio 2012. You're probably using 2012 because you're smarter than me. I don't know why I didn't start this project in 2012. I've been stuck in 2010 for too long. But anyway, to make the compiler happy, all I need to do is remove that. And this should be good to go. But now I have this max... And this max inside of the input namespace, at least this max is inside of a namespace, even though that's still max. How often do we see the name max in programming? Quite often. Control shift B, let's build again, see what the compiler complains about. Linker errors, key input, key input, lots of linker errors. I'm going to guess, or I have a hunch, that key input we forgot to do. Declaration specification DLL export. Please export this outside of our DLL so the linker can link to it. Control Shift B again. Build succeeded. Very cool. Uh, let's get rid of all this and get back to the controller component. In the update function, we want to see what actions the user is requesting and then perform those actions like so. So let's go to update. We can now pound include input, key input. And then down here I can say if input dot action hot actions hot this frame. Ah, oh, that name's driving me nuts. Actions hot. That's so long. Let's let me actions hot. You're seeing me debate with my own design, which is probably good. Actually, I think I go one way and then I want to work it a different way. One nice thing about writing books is you can go back and edit them with videos, it's just a pain in the neck. So you get it as I do it. So I think that's that's well, probably better than actually seeing a book. Actions hot. Uh, what actions are am I interested in seeing that are hot? Pound include my menu choice. Was it? Yes, that's where our enum is. And then I need to say input. Rotate left. If they're asking to rotate left, how are we going to service that? Again, here's our coordinate system. Say I wanted to rotate an angle like so, that will be theta. Theta starts out at zero, it's on the x-axis, and then a positive rotation is counterclockwise. So we need to essentially set our angular velocity to some value and update the ship's orientation. But I don't think we have orientation in our entity, if my mind serves me right. We have position, but we don't have orientation. So float, orientation. Again, position special. It goes directly inside of entity. Not many things go inside of entity, but, but every time I've used this system, I've always had to access position all over the place. And same is generally true with orientation. So these are two elite members that go directly inside of entity instead of inside of another component. I've seen uh, engines make another component for these two members and they put it inside the component called spatial but I get tired of accessing spatial so I'll put it directly in here let's default orientation to a value of zero 
orientation, get zero, save that, close this, close this, and if action's hot, if input action's hot, rotate left, then what's going to rotate the actual ship? Right now the ship moves because of the physics component. The physics component, if we go look at the physics component again, it says the position is just the velocity. We're not considering the clock in here. We need to, and we'll do that later. But I also think it's the physics component. It's its job to rotate the ship according to our angular velocity. So let's go here to physics component and add a float angular velocity. And with the vector 3D constructor, I can rely on that to set this to zero, but I can't rely on anything to set the angular velocity to zero. So let's add a constructor and we'll inline it why not angular let's put the constructor down with the other methods angular velocity gets zero okay that should be good close that get position is position plus velocity and then get parent orientation plus equals angular velocity so the physics component is responsible for updating the orientation according to the angular velocity and then the controller component will update the angular velocity so 